Alright, hi there. So I've got finals coming up, so I'm probably not going to have a whole lot of time to record over the next few weeks, so I'm just going to do like three chess videos in a row in like one night, just record them all, and then we'll just, that'll be the content for like a month, so sorry about that, but that's, it's better than nothing. We'll get into it here. <coughs> Alright, so, to start off, there's not a lot of work with, especially considering the, um, pawn can't move. So the rook, we, we have a check with the rook. Pawns are moving down, so they won't be able to capture. I mean, the only option would be to move the king. After that, we can take the, um other pawn, and I think there are like mate threats. That's gotta be it, right? Probably should have looked more, I knew it. Oh, I didn't even think of that. Okay, yeah, because the king's cutting off the G file. Alright, well, off to a bad start, as usual. <clears throat> so the bishop can pick up the knight, I notice, first thing. It might be one of those, just... Kind of like, do you see what is loose puzzles, but... Especially given it just moved, it's threatening a rook, so like, unless you have a different rook move, that would... Do something better. <clears throat> Is it like a um, in between move puzzle? Because hmm, my first thought was rook d6 as an in between move, but that lets them move the knight to defend. Because their only other real attack is like rook takes g6, and we already have our rook defending, so I'm just gonna go with the obvious. Yeah, I really don't like puzzles like that. Like, <clears throat> hanging piece, I... Oh yeah, look at my, my graph is terrible here. I don't know why I gave me such a big drop for that first one, but... Probably because it was easy and I did bad at it. Alright. Number three, um... Once again, our bishop is threatening the hanging rook, which just moved, so... We have a kind of in-between move of bishop takes bishop. Giving the queen takes bishop. But I... <clears throat> I guess doing that just because otherwise you have that as a response, yeah. Because if you go bishop takes rook, they have bishop takes bishop. But if you go bishop takes bishop, they have to go like queen takes bishop, and then you get bishop takes rook as neutral instead of, I mean like as up a rook instead of up a rook minus a bishop. I guess they can take with knight instead, but it doesn't matter either way. Maybe it's because I haven't played in so long that my score is... Yeah, yeah, I mean, like, look at that. Anyway. We can trade rooks right off the bat. I don't see. Oh yeah, that undefends the bishop. Oh yeah, if we trade rooks, they have to take because it's a check. Because looking at taking, 
trading queens, but rook takes rook is a check, so they have to... Their only other move would be to move the queen out of the way, which hangs the queen. And that drops the bishop. <clears throat> I don't know if drop is the right term in this context, but you get what I mean. Once again, we have an obvious um, capture of pawn takes rook. But that, op that creates an opening for their bishop to take our rook. I guess, because we need a um, threatening move. I see we have a check. And after that, yeah, they can't block the check with, and also save the rook. So that's, I think, the idea behind this puzzle. Yeah, okay. All time high, and that's our last puzzle, so bit of a false start, but other than that, this was good. This is probably going to be a really short video, but it's going to be kind of lazy content for a month. I'm sorry about that. Thanks for watching. I don't know why I paused and went for the intro again, but, um, I mean outro, but you, you know, this is a mess. All right, bye.